Next factor crap here is going to go toward the Kansas City Chiefs. Obviously, guys, the Kansas City Chiefs have had many, many drops this season. Their receivers are getting paid to drop the ball more than they are to, to, catch, to catch the ball. So with that being said, fact or crap, are the Chiefs wide receivers the main issue of their offensive struggles this season? When we look at the Kansas City Chiefs guys in general, yes, the wide receivers have dropped the ball a lot. Yes, there has been a lot of drops, but there has been a little bit of compounding interest on top of those drops. Along with those drops, Travis Kelsey has not reached a thousand yard catching or, or receiving since the first time of 2015. He statistically is having his worst year of his career. He is only averaging 10 point yards per catch, which is a career low, and he has yardage on a clear a career low as well. On top of that, the Kansas City Chiefs are the most flagged offensive team out there. Their left tackle, Jawan Taylor, and their right guard are the most penalized offensive alignment in, 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 in their position in the NFL. And then on top of that, they are second in passing attempts this season and 25th in rushing attempts. So yes, the wide receivers' woes have been issues for the Kansas City Chiefs. But if the Kansas City Chiefs start to catch the ball, it is not going to instantly fix their issues. So it is crap, in my opinion. It is crap because the Kansas City Chiefs need to understand that they are not the 2018, the 2019, the 2020, the 2021 Kansas City Chiefs. They are not the up and down the field track meet Kansas City Chiefs anymore. They are a nickel and dime you down the field team right now. They do not have that explosive wide receiver. Yes, we thought we had Sky Moore. Yes, we thought we had MVS. Yes, we thought Tooney could maybe line up on sides for once, right? But the simple fact of the matter is the Kansas City Chiefs right now need to adjust their scheme and become a power running team. Isaiah Paseco runs with the man possessed. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, get him the damn ball. He was a first round pick two, three years ago. Use him and abuse him and get him out of town next year. Hell, they still have a, uh, a Jarrett, Jarrett McKinnon. Run the damn ball, Kansas City Chiefs, but the receiver drops are not the all the issues on the Kansas City Chiefs offensive side of the ball. Hoffy, what are your thoughts? I mean, they have 26 drops this season. That's six more than the you know any other team. Uh, they're dropping the ball at 7%. Um, but luckily, you have Mahomes that can kind of make up for that margin. Um, I mean, you did have some, you know, you had Odell Beckham Jr., DeAndre Hopkins, Juju Smith-Schuster, who were all out there to be signed. Um, but instead, you guys signed players like Charles Omen, and I can't even pronounce his name, Omen Yuhu, you know, Tranquil, Mike Edwards, Rasheed Weiss. Uh, and those have all panned out for you. And we talk about it all the time. Defense wins championships. So, I mean, you spend on, you know, I, I we've kind of seen it. They've kind of made a transition to, like you said, away from that offensive gunslinging team, more defensive, you know, power. Um, you know, you still have Travis Kelsey. Uh, you know, yes, you he didn't get to 1,000 yards, but he also took one game off. He had a couple games in the beginning of the season where he was injured. So I, I think everything will be quite all right there. Um, you know, the, the receivers, I think, have kind of been, you know, much improving over these last few weeks. And then, like you said, you have, a you know, two, uh, two monsters in the backfield that you can hand the ball off to. Um, so I, I don't think that uh, this offense has – I don't think this offense is really going to be in a, a problem in the playoffs. I think they're all going to kind of come together. But I would say that the drops have been the biggest disappointment to the uh, the offense this year. But uh, when you have Mahomes, you have Kelsey, and you know Pacheco, you know Rice and and Tooney and, and Sky Moore, I think you'll be you'll be all right. So just let just let me make sure I understand you correctly. If the Kansas City Chiefs receivers start to catch those balls, if they drop the the drop rate from seven percent to say three percent, they're a Super Bowl winning team. Absolutely. Yeah. I think they're the Super Bowl favorites. I think they could I think they take care of the Ravens. I think they would take care of the 49ers, the Lions, 
whatever the hell, you know, Cowboys, yes. If they're if the wide receivers are catching the ball, they're absolutely Super Bowl favorites. Yeah, and um, obviously catching is contagious and drops are contagious too. So once, you know, one person decides to catch the ball in VS, you know, obviously it's going to roll downhill and be a lot easier for everybody else. And then Patrick Mahomes starts to get confidence in yourself or gets confidence in you. Therefore, maybe we can get that gunslinging mentality back. Car- Caroline says, fact, somewhat, and I'm shocked with Kelsey. It's not like him to have this bad of a year. He has had a career low, but also on the flip side of that, he has missed three games, right? He Because he missed the opening week versus the Detroit Lions. Obviously did not play a week 18, and I thought he was injured some other game in between there as well. Um, yeah, he's been, I think he's, Hopefully, I think he's he's gotten right at this point. But yeah, yeah. I, I think you could kind of tell throughout this season he had a lot of lingering lingering issues with you know health wise. But you know, he is what Tay-Tay thirty. Will give him a couple rub outs. I think he's thirty. Go. He's thirty six years old too. So I mean, it's at some point your body does break down. That's why a lot of us are you know retired again, or a lot a lot of players are like are are retired. Arthur Brown says fact. That is the reason Miami is playing next week. He says the drops from the receivers are the reason why Miami Dolphins are going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead in negative two degree weather with snow. Has Tua ever seen weather under like fifty degrees? Uh, when no, probably not. 